Vectorworks, which harnesses the power of Maxon's Cinema 4D rendering engine, has been further enhanced to strengthen your rendering pipeline. Now, we've provided more control over your export options and made it easier than ever before to work directly with the world-class Cinema 4D application that so many have come to rely on for superb presentation and visualization. If you work with Cinema 4D, you can export your drawings from Vectorworks. You can do this by going to File, Send to Cinema 4D, or File, Export, Export Cinema 4D. The Send to Cinema 4D command is useful if you have a copy of Cinema 4D and you want to open the file right away. It creates a temporary file that opens in Cinema 4D. You can also send changes made to the model in Vectorworks to update the scene in Cinema 4D without losing any modifications previously made in Cinema 4D. Both of these commands will present you with the same export options dialog. This dialog will allow you to control what information is included in the export, how the information will be organized in Cinema 4D, and also what types of objects or resources are exported. At the top of the dialog, you can choose what render mode to export the file in. This is so that you don't need to render first in Vectorworks in order to control the resolution of the objects. For example, if we choose Custom Renderworks, we can click on the Options button to access the Renderworks options for the export. Let's change the Curve Geometry to Low and Export. You can see that the Curve Geometry is now faceted in Cinema 4D. If we go back to Vectorworks and export the file again, we can change the Custom Renderworks options so that Curve Geometry is very high. This will produce a smooth curve in Cinema 4D. You can also choose between any of the Renderworks modes or even use your own Renderworks style for the export. In the export area, we can choose to export all visible objects in the drawing or to limit the export based on the active layer. The scene organization determines how the objects are organized once the file is opened in Cinema 4D. The native Vectorworks organization will organize the file in a way that the object manager will show the backgrounds, geometry, layers, lights, and cameras. If you expand the geometry, you can see each layer from the Vectorworks document. If you expand the layer, you will see the objects that exist on that layer. This is the default export behavior, but what if you need to change size, position, texture, or render tags for all the objects that have identical textures applied? With this organization, you would have to find each piece of geometry with the texture and manually change it for each object. To help with this, we've included some other scene organization choices. Sort by texture, which will export the objects, but this time they will be grouped according to the texture that's applied to them. In Cinema 4D, you can now click on the group of objects and directly edit the texture or render tags. This will change the texture for all objects in this group. Export symbols as render instances will export as symbol instances in the drawing and organize them in a separate group in Cinema 4D. You can see here that the symbol group shows the symbol definition, but they're all invisible in the drawing. If you expand the instances group, you will now see each symbol instance. If you uncheck this option, the symbols will not be grouped and will show up for each instance of the symbol in the drawing, in addition to increasing rendering time since each copy must be rendered individually instead of as simple instances of the same source object. We can also sort by class on the export. In Vectorworks, we use classes for similar objects. When you sort by class, the groups in the geometry tree will now show each class. If you expand the class group, you'll see the objects that belong to that class. You can also sort by the fill or line color of the objects if you wish, letting you more easily use classes or colors for the material coding, for instance. The last section of the dialog tells us what kinds of objects or items we're including in the exported C4D file. For a new export, it may be common to export all of the information. However, you may want to export just the model and not include any of your Vectorworks textures. You can uncheck the Materials and Texture Tags box and then export. This will leave you with just the geometry from the Vectorworks file without any textures.